Hey folks, this is Jen here. I'm gonna do another walkthrough, but I'm really excited today because we're gonna show you our first gooseneck. We've designed many goosenecks throughout the years, and we finally were able to pull the trigger on this one, and it's a, just a gem. Um, gooseneck, what is a gooseneck, right? So there's different ways of attaching to a trailer, a trailer attaching to a truck, right? And a gooseneck is this form of, you can kind of see it, it kind of looks like a goose, but what it does is it lands all the weight on the truck right over the axle. Makes it a lot easier to transport and a lot e easier to drive. And a lot of the weight um, is not on the, on the trailer, but on the truck. So trust me, if you're gonna travel a lot, this one or this style of trailer is the one for you. Um, but it also has a really interesting design uh, design techniques with that because now all of a sudden instead of having a loft where you're gonna hit your head you step up into the neck deck area above the goose and it becomes a beautiful bedroom so let's go take a look and I'll show you some details inside so right away this whole tiny house is built around these two big doors and this open space and you come right into the into the middle of the tiny house right so we have a we have a table a nice little eating spot um, we also have our kitchen so our eating spot our table this table is a marine style table so you can actually lift it up and change it into a different location and actually lower the table so you can have a coffee table height and it creates a different feeling in here or you can lift it up and create an eating space height so right now this one is and our built-in couch and it's an eating area. Um, of course, there's storage below and in that storage, while I touch on it really quick, are a couple batteries for our solar system and this is also our screen for our solar system. So this one is solar capable. It has panels on the roof, batteries, and you can actually go off-grid with it. Um, back to our design of our, our living space, a lot of volume up, which is really important to kind of even though it's on the smaller side of our tiny houses, but having this volume <clears throat> still gives it this kind of grandiose feel. I mean, this tiny house grandiose, right? Beautiful light fixture, nice little details around the base of the light fixture. We have these nice, beautiful little accent lights on the wall. Um, we have little lighting in the kitchen here underneath this shelf, also lighting down below at the toe kick space, all dimmable, all, um, you know, on and off individually. So you can kind of create the mood that you want. This sink, under, under mount sink, um, it's got our multifunctional sink, meaning that there's a cutting board and there's a drying rack and you can kind of put place them in set in there so you can use one component or the other, no problem. Um, really kind of cool little design look on this faucet and it contrasts really well with our countertop. This is a porcelain countertop really stain resistant and durable. Um, it has some really neat patterns in this one. There's a lot of other patterns with porcelain right now, so it's kind of an exciting product to work with. We have a nice, beautiful um, dishwasher. It's a drawer, so you still have space above and below it. All our drawers, soft clothes, well-constructed. Our craftspeople here know how to build a beautiful cabinet. Um, we also have this really kind of cool champagne color knobs to accent our different um, color palettes here. We have our three burner gas range and our convection microwave oven below it. So it's a, um, you know, enough space for cooking, still enough space for prep, ventilation out for our hood. This is just some nice little extra storage space above the hood. Um, the vent actually goes straight out, not up. And then here's a nice little spot that we can kind of see how we, we use some of our different um, spaces for display and also functionality. Um, right now our ladder is going into our loft. This ladder will stow right above this staircase. But once we go up, you can see this nice big volume in this loft. Um, it's 50 plus inches and it could be set up as a kid room. It could be set up as an office um, storage space. And then right above to the left is actually some cabinetry for a closet up top. So as we come back down this ladder, you can see it doesn't take up all the space. You still can make your way around it. But one of the great features that I like about this tiny house is we can take it and stow the ladder right above 
this window and then all of a sudden it opens it up and that space up top is, you know, maybe for, for sleeping or whatnot and I don't need access right now. So as we go back to the bathroom, we have some really good storage options. This thing of course slides all the way out. You can put anything in here you want. Um, we also have a bin, a waste bin below. Um, we're gonna step into the bathroom, but right away, again, a pocket door, easy access, easy privacy if needed to the bathroom. Lots of tile in this bathroom. That's the first thing I see. Um, herringbone kind of black tile with this contrasting white orientated, um, kind of like a subway type tile, vertically oriented. Um, champagne fixtures on the bath in the shower and champagne fixtures on the vanity. This is a marble sink, stone sink. I mean, it's beautiful. It's, um, it's real, it's heavy, it's substantial. I love it. It's on top of our vanity that our craftspeople here make. Um, this one is all out of cherry. And so you can see a lot of um, storage. Right now we have a composting toilet that's installed. If composting toilets are not for you, we always have a flange that goes underneath it that we can easily swap it out and put a flush toilet. Nice little linen place to store your linens for your bathroom. So as we come out of the bathroom, we have a wall-in-one washer dryer. This is washes and dries and vents outside. Great height for um, accessing the washer dryer. Little bins and storage down below. And of course, just cabinetry above it. This is a 12 volt fridge. It's called a unique brand, unique fridge. Um, it's a DC fridge, so it's super efficient, retro. We kind of like it, it goes with the scheme. Um, and then as we come through back into the living space, Again, on this side, we're gonna show off a little bit of the TV, the hearth, there's a fireplace below it. Um, it's just a comfy area. Um, and then we're gonna walk up into the master bedroom. Again, I'm 6'2", I'm very comfortable walking up these steps. This is nice and strong, this uh, metal work. And instantly we're into this bedroom that has a little bit of everything. Lots of storage, there's the all the surround kind of kind of nook feeling down below. There's lighting and plug-ins options. There's also um, storage underneath it. It's a hydraulically assisted um, bed. So it can stay up even though there's a mattress on top. But all this space is just for storage. You can imagine that's a big deal in tiny houses. Where do I put my stuff? You don't want a lot of stuff, but you want enough to be comfortable. So this bedroom really worked out really well. I think the gooseneck makes this happen. As we come back down, <clears throat> just wanna show off a little bit of, we got the um, barn door hardware so you can have a little privacy in the bedroom. I've got also a four-year-old. It's a great place for a nap time. Um, kind of having secondary spaces is important. <clears throat> so there you have it, our quick walkthrough. It's called a Terra Haven, it's gooseneck. Um, of course, you can't find it on the website yet, but maybe tomorrow you will. Um, we wanna get it up there. This one is available or one like it. Get a hold of us, trueformtiny.com. And stick around because now Malia is gonna take you through some of the design inspirations for this tiny home. Hi everyone, now that Chen has walked you through the Terra Haven, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the design and what inspired it. My name is Malia and I'm one of the owners here at Trueform. All right, so the Terra Haven, we haven't built a gooseneck yet. This is the first one that we've built. The reason that I came up with this design is it was in the summer this last year, 2023, and there were a lot of fires around our home. And Jen and I are always really worried about that. You know, there's thousands of people escaping their homes and how do they all find a place to be? So this unit was inspired largely by that. I had four different designs and I put it through a grading system on the best layout for this size of unit for a space that I could live in with my two girls and Jen. All four of us could be in this home together if we needed to. So the design is really around what we might need if we needed to escape. And so it's also completely off grid. We wanted to use water gin technology. However, it's not broadly available yet. And so that will be available in this unit at some point. And what water gin does is it creates water out of air. So you'll get about five gallons 
every day. The solar system is really large. We believe that it should be able to power everything. The washer dryer, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, everything. All the amenities make it a really comfortable space to live in full time. So we have this 25 foot trailer with two additional bump outs, it makes a total of 30 feet long. There's a bathroom bump out with a vanity nestled inside of it, like a little alcove. And also there's a bump out for the head of the bed. The exterior was heavily influenced by the front doors. The front doors are, are steel with a powder coated paint on them and they're enormous for a tiny home. We've never put doors these big on a tiny home. Uh, they're 96 inches tall and 72 inches wide. A little bit of background on how the bed was designed. It was important to have a lot of storage in this unit. So there's a significant amount of cabinetry around it where you can hang things in little closets to the sides of it but that made it extremely deep. And so inside there's a lining of cherry wood that is giving kind of a modern effect and protruding out in a very clean, kind of crisp way. Anthony, our furniture and special projects craftsman built this and it turned out incredible. And then in the little bump out for the vanity, it's serving as more of an alcove in that vanity is kind of nestled inside of it so that there's still room around the sides of it. I was able to source a viola marble from a Turkish craftsman on Etsy. And that's a really foundational element in the bathroom. The blacks going up the back of that as a kind of a backsplash and then using golds and champagnes to, to pop against all those darks and whites. We used a lot of black tiles, but also I didn't want the shower to be starkly dark. And so we have white tiles on the sides and then a beautiful black element up the back and across the floor. I wanted to use really dramatic coloring and texture, a little less bohemian. This is supposed to be more modern. So some of the design trends that I've been seeing lately are incorporated into this, like porcelain counters and having that porcelain go along the countertop and up the backsplash, and then also having a beautiful little display ledge made out of that porcelain. That was a very difficult effect. We all had to put our heads together to figure out. We used a lot of really rich cherry wood, and this was inspired by the countertop also. Some of the kind of orange veining that was in that countertop and also the grays in there influenced the flooring, which is a nice dark gray oak. Everything is so carefully considered. Every knob and handle has been sourced by craftsmen on like Etsy or handmade. We were able to source the couch cushions and then we built the storage furniture underneath. The living room is multifunctional. It's also a dining room. And so the marine table can be repositioned so that it's a coffee table or a dining table. Uh, even the steps, I, I was thinking of my daughter. Um, I angled that bottom step so that she, you know, she might sit there and do little school projects or something. Thank you everybody for watching and please check us out online at trueformtiny.com.